What's up guys? So there's three things that sets apart Singapore math from traditional methods. The first one being that it emphasizes understanding place value. The second being that it's all about creating and writing base tens, hundreds, and thousands. And the third thing that might surprise you the most is that we are going to go from left to right instead of right to left. So let's get into it. Let's go. So with addition, we're going to start from the left and say that seven thousands plus zero thousands equals seven thousands. And next, we're going to look at the eight and the nine. So eight hundreds plus nine hundreds equals seventeen hundreds. And the six and the seven, six tens plus seven tens equals 13 tens. Yeah. And finally, the eight and the five equals 13 ones. And what's really cool about this is that if you notice, there is no carryover. So we can actually add from the left to the right as well and say that our answer is 8,843. So this is an example I saw in a Singapore workbook where students are practicing adding horizontally. And this is all about creating base tens, hundreds, and thousands. So let's take a look. So the 446 here, we can break it apart into 400, 30, and 16. Now you might be thinking, why not 400, 40, and 6? But I think you'll know what I mean here. So the 78, I'm going to break it apart as 70, 4, and 4. So the 30 and the 70 can be paired together to make 100. The 16 and the 4 can be paired up to make 20. So you notice you have the 4 and the 400 left over. So the 400 and the 100 added together, we can get a 500. And then we have the 20 and the 4 left over. So your answer comes out to 524. So subtraction is probably going to be the most different from what you've ever seen with the concept of I have and I owe. So follow me. I have eight thousands. I owe five thousands. I still have three thousands. I have six hundreds. I owe nine hundreds. I still owe three hundreds. Mental math, 2,700. I have seven tens. I owe two tens. I still have five tens. Mental math, 2,750. I have four ones. I owe six ones. I still owe two ones, mental math, 2,748. And you might have been like, what? Why am I adding in a subtraction problem? So let me explain here. Because there's no carryover, we're doing these steps of I have and I owe. So if you look at the seven and the two here, you can think of it as if the top number is greater than the bottom number, we're still subtracting, but adding the operation. So notice we subtracted seven minus two and got 50, but we're still adding it because the top number is greater. And then for the four and six in the ones column, we still subtracted the six minus the four and got the two. But because the 4 is smaller than the 6, we subtracted with the concept of I-O. And this is all done mentally in your head, so it's pretty cool. Alrighty, does anybody get super confused when they're subtracting double zeros in a problem 
and you don't know if you're putting a 10 or 9 in place of the zeros. So let's practice the Singapore method one more time. I have nine thousands. I owe one thousand. I still have eight thousands. I have zero hundreds. I owe eight hundreds. I still owe eight hundreds. Mental math, seven thousand two hundred. I have zero tens. I owe three tens. I still owe three tens. Mental math, 7,170. I have seven ones. I owe two ones. I still have five ones. And mental math, 7,175. So let's practice subtraction the horizontal way. So the 603 can be broken down into 603. And for the 69, if you play around with it, maybe a good combination would be 60, 3, and 6. So if you notice, the 3s can cancel. And if you subtract the 60 and the, the 600 and the 60, we can get 540. And then subtract that last six. So our answer is going to be 534. Again, I just want to stress here that there's no one right way to solve these types of problems. But it's really fun for the students to just explore and figure out which number combinations would work for them. So this is what worked for me but it could be totally different for somebody else. And I think that's really what helps students strengthen numeracy in Singapore. All right, so for multiplication, let's start from the left. So seven thousands times four is gonna give us 28 thousands. Three hundreds times four is gonna give us 12 hundreds. Eight tens times four, 32 tens. And nine ones times four is gonna give us 36 ones. So if we add that all up, our answer is gonna be 29,556. So with division, we're gonna stack our answers up. Follow me. So instead of the 2,613, we can maybe think of the number as 2,000s. So how many times does four fit into the number 2,000? Well, it fits in 500 times. So if you do that, subtract the 2,000, you get 613. So how many times does 4 fit into 613? We can do that 100 times and get 400. All right, so now instead of the 213, maybe you can think of it as 200. So we can fit that 50 times. So that's going to be 200 here. 13 divided by 4, we can fit that in 3 times and get a remainder of 1. So if we add these all up right here, our answer is going to be 653 with a remainder of 1. Please comment below. Let me know what you thought about all the example problems. If you can support my mission of U.S. mass scores being number one in the world, please subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. See ya.